He was brash, he was bullish. Let's go. Nothing was ever his fault. You couldn't take him anywhere. He's just a character as well, he's entertainment, and you know, people that watch it on TV like to see people like this. Sometimes he crossed the line a little bit. Bollocks to you all. Ultimately, you forgave him his sins because he, he was such a character, he was such a good laugh to be with, you know. If you ask anybody in the UK, name a poker player, they'll probably say Dave Williams. He was always going to have to be the centre of attention, and if he wasn't, he would do something that made him the centre of attention. He was a character. Some people didn't like him because he ended up with getting your money. I ain't got a pair, actually, right? I've got two <laughs> pairs. <laughs> That was a bit naughty, oh, wasn't it, Tony? They just call me with bus tickets, I'll tell you what. He did bring the gift of laughter. The devil of just made me laugh. That's not the best move I've made today, Polly. For me, he was the best character in the poker scene at all. At all times. They don't come any bigger than the devil finish. WSOP bracelet holder and current European Player of the Year. He loves the life and works as hard as he plays. It's a bit of a James Bond lifestyle without the bullets. You know, thank God these days. I used to have the bullets as well. You know, my mum and dad did the best and that's all you can do. And then they kicked me up the ass out the door when I was 15 and I had to go make a life for myself. And I'm glad they did because now it toughened me up, you know, you've got to be, you know, you can't be, uh, if you're travelling around the place I used to travel, you know, you can't really be a mammy's boy. But nobody ever helped, it was all trial and error, you had to, you, had, you went skint, you know, you had to, I mean, I went skint for, I've been skint more times than uh, a lot of people. But, um, you know, you had, you had to learn, the hard way, hard way to earn an easy living. I knew Dave for about 15 years. You get people in life who have or a caricature and are slightly different in, in, in real life when you get to know them. But, you know, I would say that Dave was pretty similar to what you saw on television, what you saw around a bar, um, sort of being with him one-on-one. -on -one. It didn't kind of change much. He was a funny guy, but he was a very grumpy guy as well. He was a very proud man, family man. He didn't keep many people close to him, really. This day when he watched uh, you can see young, yeah, he's quite just hairstyle, like a <laughs> hippie style. <laughs> yeah, it's the first pawn shop, I think, yeah, jewelry shop he, he put on those days uh, when he opening the shop, jewelry shop. His ex-wife, she's very beautiful, Mandy. Yeah. Mandy, yeah, now she she not live far from me in North Philippi. Yeah, she uh, they got four boy together. This the boy, four boy. That one will be Steve, Chris, uh, Michael, and Matthew. Uh, now they grown up more now. Yeah, he put the family before anybody. Family have to come before anybody else. Yeah, so why he care about the kid? So he got a lot of kid. He called about X Y, care about Y. He been protects all his family. If somebody uh, hurt his family, he will not wait for anybody to help. He just sort it out. Yeah, this one is mom and dad. Unfortunately, I just met only mom. Dad passed away before I met Dave for two years. Yeah, and mom still, yeah, mom, I still be with mom like uh, seven or eight years until she passed, passed away on last year. She same like Dave, mom. She's funny. She very enjoy her moment. Yeah, she like to play poker. Yeah, <laughs> play card with Dave, yeah. I'm 33 years old when I met him. I think probably he would be 56 years old. He's still, he's still rock and roll. <laughs> I know only story or know about, he talk about the gangster, but he not talk to me much because he knew I would be scared, scared of when he talk about that. But uh, yeah, he's been fight a lot. No, one night he been fighting and he come back home. With the clothes, with the thing tear, I I think when I look at the camera, I think, oh, who is that? Like a mad people come to ring the bell. It's not. It's him. He been fighting, and he said he got problem with the large 
tried to protect his um, uh, what's it called nephew. So why he get to fight? Yeah. And this one, his gang in Ho. I know Sonix. Uh, I forgot his name. Um, he's quite quite close friend. This friend, yeah. And this guy, I know he's a, a football player. And I don't know what talk about his yeah, girlfriend. Don't, don't it's worry. okay. Yeah, don't worry. It's for me. It's okay. It's um, Jed. It's the um, the last girlfriend before he met me. Women love him and men want to be him. This is Dave the Devilfish Elliot. Everybody guns at me. I don't have to gun at anybody. You know? They all come up to me. So I just sit there and try and, and take the money. You know? Now we got daughter. He like to, uh, you know, his style. He like a uh, swear. Oh, great, yeah. okay. Get me some money, man. Can jack. you do that? Okay, if you stop swearing. I won't fucking stop swearing. Well, it's not, I'm not going to allow you to speak. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Then he got daughter. He stopped to swearing in the house. Yeah. He never... I think he calmed down a lot there. Yeah. He calmed down a lot. What's your dad's name? Your dad? Dad's David what? David Olias? Mm -hmm. Yeah. David Olias? Mm -hmm. Oh, they call, everybody call daddy devil fish, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I keep a lot of pictures, I keep a lot of story. I got book, keep a lot of things for when she grown up, she want to find out. She will see what her daddy is very great, great man, yeah. This one, Rooney, it's him. And I think it's uh, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, Jimmy yeah. White. Yeah, yeah, Jimmy White, yeah. Jimmy White. Uh, they also been calling in the house. Yeah, I think, yeah. But um, when the day he poorly, they, they, they been calling him. A lot of people love him. A lot of people don't like him. He doesn't care. Lucy. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> Sorry. And you know this, baby? Where daddy? Where daddy? Yeah. Oh. Young, yeah, quite young those days, yeah. And Marcia was also young. Yeah. <laughs> this one. <laughs> uh, this one, I just been take a photo. <laughs> when uh, he just dressed up. He like to pray around, make fun in the morning. <laughs> He was just a good guy, he had good morals, like, you know, he was kind of the same off the table as he was on the table. He was not one of these guys that like, you know, as soon as the camera was on, he started performing or acting differently. You know, he was always just the same, no matter whether there's cameras or not, whether he's on a night out, whether he's at dinner, whether you're around parents, whether you're around kids, he was just always the same, like, cracking jokes and like, he liked to be the, uh, the entertainment, if you like, and uh, he was good at it. I don't think I can call it off with Ace High here. A little bit of steam out. Huh? Steam? <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been on some nights out with him and you know he's had us all in stitches. I've been on some other nights out and I had my fingers in my ears like he's one of them like if you catch him on a good night he's, he's the best company ever or he was the best company ever and uh, yeah he's, uh, he's obviously a character. How come that shirt's so tight on you yet? You could probably cover about four, you could cover four, you could cover four deck chairs with that. <laughs> He was so open, you know what I mean? He always spoke the truth and spoke his mind and, you know, he was not a shy person, let's be honest. And, um, you know, it's, you know, I would say that he was he's a, like a really loving family man and, you know, he treated his um, kids really well and he had really tight relationships with his kids. And you know, when I went to his funeral, I could see, you know, how much, you know, uh, how close the family was. And, you know, he had a lot of kids and, um, yeah, he was, uh, so he was a big family man. Sometimes he played like a bit of a Jack the Lad and um, come across like a bit of a, you know, rough, rough and ready hard man, but deep down it was a bit of a softy too. Devilfish was, uh, was the Devilfish on TV, was the Devilfish at home. That was him, there was no act. The caricature you saw, it's the same person when, when you peeled back the leather jacket, the rings, and the, uh, and the hair that he, tried, that he always denied dying because he didn't want to be ginger. We had a love-hate relationship from the first moment we met, really. Um, you know, we used to argue, but we had like a, a kind of a, a 
common bond between us in that uh, we both had mutual respect for each other. But we used to argue. I mean, I've, just a couple of years ago, I remember driving down the M1 with him. We were going to Luton and he was moaning and moaning and moaning. He'd start smoking cigars and drinking coffee. And he was coughing and he blamed me for that. So, uh, and then he wanted to go to the toilet. On, we were on the M1, he says, I want to go to the toilet. And he's one of these guys, if he wants something, he wants to do it now. So I, to, I pulled over the hard shoulder and said, okay, go to the toilet over in that bush there. And uh, he got out, went to the toilet, and uh, I left him on the M1. We drove to the next junction, and I can just, uh, I always remember that, his, his uh, expression in my, in my rear view mirror of him like, little bit off a cartoon, shouting with, with his fist like that. So, I mean, my relationship with Dave, we were close, but we definitely, uh, it was a love-hate relationship. We used to fall out. Yeah.